Welcome to our EMS Incident Command channel. We are a channel that shares educational, officer development, and leadership information for EMS professionals, as well as fire department members. Today, we will discuss the differences and similarities between the SALT and START triage. Many departments across the country have been changing away from START to SALT triage dependent on local protocols. So today, we will dive into showing the two applications. This is an interesting and informative topic for discussion due to the level of incidents that we have to deal with these days. SALT, SORT, ASSESS, Life-Saving Interventions, Treatment Slash Transport, and START, Simple Triage and Rapid Treatment are two commonly used triage systems in emergency medical services, EMS, and fire departments. Both systems aim to quickly and efficiently prioritize patients based on the severity of their injuries or illnesses. Let's explore the key differences and similarities between SALT and START triage. First, let's talk about the methodology of each. SALT is a comprehensive triage system that focuses on the triage process from start to finish. The main three steps are sorting, access, and life-saving interventions. It then involves sorting patients into four categories, immediate, delayed, minimal, and expectant. SALT emphasizes on providing life-saving interventions and initiating treatment or transport as necessary. STAR triage is a simplified and streamlined triage system designed for rapid assessment and treatment. It classifies patients into three categories, immediate, delayed, and minimal. STAR triage primarily focuses on quickly identifying patients who require immediate intervention and rapid transport. Next, let us discuss the differences in color coding. SALT uses color-coded tags to categorize patients based on their severity and priority. The tags typically include red, immediate, yellow, delayed, green, minimal, and black, expectant. Here is the overview of SALT. Immediate red, patients in this category require immediate medical attention and have life-threatening injuries or conditions. They have a high probability of survival with immediate intervention. Delayed, yellow, patients in this category have significant injuries or conditions that are not immediately life-threatening. They require medical attention, but can safely wait for a short period without jeopardizing their chances of survival. Minimal, green, patients in this category have minor injuries or medical conditions that are not life-threatening. They require medical care, but can often be treated and transported at a later stage. Expectant, black, patients in this category have injuries or conditions that are so severe that survival is unlikely, even with the best medical care available. In certain cases, it may be appropriate to focus resources on patients with a higher chance of survival. STAR triage employs color-coded ribbons or tags for patient categorization. The colors commonly used are red, immediate, yellow, delayed, and green minimal. The STAR triage system consists of the following categories. Immediate red, patients in this category have life-threatening injuries or conditions that require immediate medical attention. Delayed yellow, patients in this category have significant injuries or conditions that are not immediately life-threatening. They can safely wait for medical care. Walking wounded green, patients in this category have minor injuries or medical conditions that do not require immediate medical attention. They can often care for themselves or seek medical care at a later stage. Disease slash expectant, black, patients in this category have injuries or conditions that are incompatible with life or have already succumbed to their injuries. Now we will discuss the treatment prioritization of each. SALT emphasizes providing life-saving interventions as part of the triage process. It includes a specific step for addressing immediate life threats and prioritizing interventions accordingly. Life-saving interventions for SALT triage are control of hemorrhage, open airway, if it is a child and consideration to give two breaths and auto-injections of antidotes. The other signs that are then looked at would be a Bayes command, presence of peripheral pulses assessment, assessment of respiratory distress, and major hemorrhage control. Those will decide the final categories. 
Star Triage focuses on rapidly assessing and prioritizing patients for treatment and transport. While it recognizes the importance of prompt interventions, Star Triage does not have a dedicated step for life-saving interventions like SALT. The criteria for START are respiratory rate, radial pulses, mental status, or able to follow simple command. From these criteria, the patient will be triaged into their category. Next, let us look at the adaptability of each triage system. SALT is a flexible triage system that can be adapted to various incident types and scales. It can accommodate large-scale incidents with multiple patients and can be integrated with other incident command systems. STAR Triage is designed to be a rapid and straightforward system that can be quickly implemented in high-stress and dynamic situations. It is especially useful for incidents with a smaller number of patients or when resources are limited. Lastly, we will discuss the training and implementation of each system. SALT requires comprehensive training to ensure accurate application and understanding of the triage process. It involves understanding the four categories, color-coded tags, and life-saving interventions. Start triage is relatively easier to learn and implement. It can be quickly taught to EMS professionals and firefighters, making it an efficient system for rapid deployment in emergencies. These are the major similarities and differences between both systems. Both the SALT and STAR triage systems share the primary goal of prioritizing patients based on their severity and need for immediate care. However, there are some differences in terminology and emphasis between the two systems. One notable difference is the inclusion of the minimal category in the SALT triage system, which represents patients with minor injuries or medical conditions. The STAR triage system, on the other hand, categorizes such patients as walking wounded within the green category. Another difference is the terminology used for the category representing patients with a poor prognosis. SALT uses the term expectant black category while START uses disease slash expectant black category. It's important to note that the choice between SALT and START triage may depend on various factors, including the nature of the incident available resources, and local protocols. Both systems aim to achieve efficient patient prioritization and care in emergency situations. Ultimately, the adoption of either system should align with the needs and capabilities of the specific EMS or fire department. The choice of which triage system to use depends on the local protocols, resources, and training provided to the EMS professionals and fire department members. I hope this overview provides a helpful comparison between the SALT and START triage systems. If you have any other questions or need more information, feel free to ask. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel if you are enjoying the educational and inspiring content we are trying to share. Remember to stay safe and see you out there.